If you're a fan of the Ranchilio Silvia, today we have just the thing for you on Cafe Italia TV. <laughs> Italia TV, the best home for reviews and how-tos on coffee machines, courtesy of Coffee Italia. My name's Grant and today I'm going to be showing you the Rancilio Silvia Pro. Now Rancilio Silvia holds a big place in all of our hearts. We may have all used one in the past or maybe even owned one previously too. And over the years they have been more refined and more commercially viable so that you can have professional grade coffee equipment in the comfort of your very own home. So to look at, it's not much different from the Ranchilio Silvia. The biggest difference really is its overall size. Now it is actually a very similar overall footprint to the Ranchilio Silvia, but it's definitely a bit deeper to allow for a few extra things. Now you might be asking, what are the major differences between the Silvia and the Silvia Pro? Well, there's a couple of things that make this a really powerful and exceptionally potent machine for home coffee brewing. One of those is the fact that it's now a dual boiler system. Now, you might wonder why a dual boiler is so useful. Well, the best way to look at this, you can make your coffee and steam your milk all at the same time. So this particular machine has a brew boiler, which is at 0.3 litres, and also a separate boiler specifically for your steam wand for when you're texturizing and heating your milk, and that's at a liter in size. So that's why this machine is a bit deeper to allow for that extra mechanical input on the inside of the machine itself. You may also see just to the right hand side here, we actually have a separate water funnel. So this means you can get hot water on demand rather than having to rely on a steam wand as you have done previously. Now the third biggest change on this is actually in the PID at the top. Now this will do several things for you. It will allow you first of all to see the physical temperature of not only your brew head but the water in your steam wand. It will also show you a countdown timer so you can see how long you've actually been brewing your espresso shots for. But also these settings will allow you to automatically wake the machine up and turn it off over certain periods of time simply by doing a three second press on the plus and minus that will allow you to go through various settings on the screen to change each of those to make it even more personal so let's have a closer look at the rest of the machine so on top we have our heat tray this will allow you to keep all of your cups at the optimum temperature ready for brewing your coffee to the front we have an on off switch we have a steam wand switch and we also have that button there for our hot water. If you want to brew your coffee, you can do this simply by pressing the button in the middle of the device. As we mentioned previously, we have a PID in the center and we have our steam on throttle in front. Now, the more we open this up, the more consistent and the more powerful that steam will get. We then also have the most important part, our commercial grade steam wand on that left hand side. Now, one little tweak that we found on the main drip tray itself is the fact that this is now adjustable. So, as you may have seen, there is quite a difference in height between the brew chamber and the drip tray itself. Inside this, there's a couple of little flywheels that you can undo and simply lift that drip tray up so that the gap between the brew head and your cup is significantly reduced. This means that you get very little in the way of mess, but a very maximum amount of perfect coffee brewed at home, all thanks to Ranchilio. So it's a work of art on the outside, but what about on the inside of the device as well? Let's take a bit of a closer look as we tear down the top and see exactly what goes onto the inside. Now, first of all, we wanna make sure that we've actually unplugged it and we've switched it off the wall, which we have. We need to remove the tank first. So we're gonna lift off the lid, Now this is a great thing about the Sylvia. You do actually have the benefit of being able to remove the water tank from the back. And then you can place all of the extra tubing just on the inside of that there, just to keep water away from everything else and to keep it nice and stable. So we're just gonna remove the six screws now. So we've got three on either side. This just holds that main plate in place. 
and then we can remove our stainless steel tray from the top. And there we have the inside. So we can see that this is a much more complex machine than the original Sylvia. And we do have our two boilers. So at the front, we have our 0.3 litre brewing boiler. And then at the back part, we have our one litre boiling brewer specifically there for our steam wand itself. So a complex machine, not much else to it, but you do have your two reset switches here as well, should you find that anything does actually trip at any point in time. And there we have it. What a fantastic machine. But what accompanies this machine as well? Well, Ranchilio do also give us a fantastic accessories pack, which consists of a brush for our brew head. We have a dosing spoon, dual output porter filter, a stainless steel and wood coffee tamper at 58 millimeters. We then have a small disc for cleaning. Now again, you can use your PID to set the cleaning compounds of this, place this in the bottom of your porter filter, and you get to clean the machine with absolute ease. Also, a nice supply of cleaning tablets as well, just to keep you on your edge for a few months. And then as standard, we also have a single dosing porter filter basket and a double dosing porter filter basket, just depending on whether you want to make something a little bit stronger or not. So we've got an amazing machine, a fantastic accessories pack. Let's make ourselves a coffee with this device to see how we get on, all with a little bit of help from this absolutely wonderful Chiado E37 SD single dosing coffee grinder. Let's see how we get on. Italia.co.uk. My name's Grant and I can't wait to see you again next time on Cafe Italia TV. Till then, take care.